Hello folks and welcome here to the iSports Forum. Uh, it should be a very exciting game. Uh, this is I think the first time I'm doing this broadcast, uh, so I'll have to take this to it. I'm Vladimir Petrovsky and alongside me is Claude Pelzi. Claude, what a game we're gonna have today. Oh yeah, not about no doubt about it, Vladimir. I mean it's a very exciting game in the sense you have to look at the Grey Wolves, you know, 0-2. But they have a lot of talent on their team and just can't wait to see what's going on here. You gotta really enjoy the uh, talent level on this team. And then of course Ivan Jr., the keeper, a remarkable player. Can't wait to see what he has up his sleeve against this Yellow Jacket team. Vladimir, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were not gonna be able to make it back up in time, so I took over for you. Vladimir, you know I got my thing with the Red Army that I have to do, right? Okay, sorry. It's all good, but at least you're getting your air time right, man. Avoid. And go back over to uh, your injury report like you're supposed to do. Okay. Alright, folks, that was Vladimir Petrovsky filling in for me. Uh, and my co host, uh, Fly tells me this time, so five. Can't wait for an exciting game that we have going on here. Oh, absolutely. And with that, we'll have the first period out to you shortly. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Welcome back here, folks. Start of the first period. And there is face-off. Omer Chikwan now looking to set up. He'll try to find his man. This one gets knocked away right over to Brewster. At least I think that was Brewster. Now back over to Rock Hill. He'll fire the shot. And this one will get knocked away. Here comes Dave Garrick. Dave Garrick looking to set up to Chikwan. He looks to fire back. He'll set up. And this one gets knocked away by Ivan. Finley now, looking to find his man in Creighton. And here comes Mark Creighton, trying to get this one off to Masher and now Finley and everybody in a cluster. Now it's over to Rock Hill, back over to Chiquan. He gets stripped loose of the puck. Now it's over to Randy Cristiano. And Chiquan looks like he was trying to get through people. He'll deke the move around and Ivan has no problem stopping that one. Chiquan quickly trying to put the goal up on the board. Almost trying to do it virtually without any help. And in that case, he comes off the ice. Well, that's something uh, Omer has definitely done in a while. Uh, you know, got to see him play a little bit better. You know, have to see him play as a team because that is ultimately the opportunity for the Yellow Jackets and that's what they will gel them together. Washburn. will set up to Bill Tish. And it will be knocked away by McCants, now taken away by McDermott, and instead, that will be for an icing call. Or not an icing, but offsides. Wow, I can't even speak. Don't even know the penalty spot. This is killing me. So Bill Tish versus Rick Nader on the face off. This one going past beyond Roberge, back into the Grey Wolf zone. And we'll find Nader. And Brewster tried to get to the puck, but he gets stopped and denied by the Grey Wolves. Now it's over to Mike McGraw. McGraw now sets over to an open Nader on the left side, looking to set up, and instead it's stopped by Buckholz. Now it's McGraw looking to take a shot, deflected off of Brewster, and now it's back over to Buckholz. McDermott fires the shot, bounces off of Washburn's shaft, now back over to Nader, looking to set up to McGraw, now to McCants. And instead, Buckles looks like he tried to clear this one off the board, but it'll be quickly stopped by McGraw. Now over to the Solners looking to take the shot. Now in the deep slot, McCann shoots it high. And now it gets open to an open McDermott. McDermott on the left side looks to set back over to Tish. Sets around, quickly stopped by McCants. We'll get this shot off the boards. Now back over to Rock Hill.
Washburn waits for his men to change up. And now an open Chaquan makes a move off of a man. We'll take a shot. Stopped by Ivan Jr. Chaquan again looking to work off the finesse. And it is stopped. And now comes Falbo looking to take the shot. He keeps shooting. And Ivan Jr. is having no effect. As this one's now back over to Dave Garrett. Gets a shot from him now to Paul Rockhill. Rockhill now finds an open Chaquan. Bad change up there by the Gray Wolves as Chaquan takes the slap shot. Misses to the right. And now Hogan Yee will knock this one away. Trying to get this one off to Masher, but just out of his reach. Chaquan quickly gets to the puck. And he is on the move. He looks to try to set this one up. On the move now back over to Falbo. So now over to Rock Hill, looking to set up now. Takes a shot right through Ivan Jr. And how about that goal? Yeah, no doubt about it. 28 definitely had what he took up his sleeve. Now, I thought we knew who that guy was, but could be wrong. That might be just a new player that they added recently, but you know what? That could be the new player that um, Finney was mentioning that he played in the over 40 league. I don't think we got his name earlier yet, but he was a new player that was recently added onto the Yellow Jacket squad. But to have him on the team, that is a definitely a good uh, addition. And with 8.17 to go, it's now a 1-0 Yellow Jacket lead. As they're looking like they're back for more as Tish now gets the pass back towards Garrett. will take the shot and says stop. And now Tish on a rebound shot looking to get this one in the net. But it says taken away by Quicko. now taken back by Rock Hill, looks to regroup. And he he puts this out in the open and Hogan Yee for the Great Wolves picks it up. Puck back the other way, now it's over to Brewster. Brewster looking for his man to set up to deflect it off by Hogan Yee. Now Finley comes around and takes the puck away. This one off the boards, past Buckhurst trying to get this one in the chance. The Washington stops it, now comes Tom Finley, open breakaway. We'll take the shot. Larry Wood stops it, and he'll make the save. Yeah, I'm perfectly certain that at this point, you look at a team like the Grey Wolves and Yellow Jackets right now, Yellow Jackets had that lucky goal off of Ivan Jr. And and now, you know, that's killing them right now, but I'm pretty sure the Great Wolves will find their momentum and get this goal back. And I'll make the move around. Yellow Jackets on the move. Now on the left side, got Chuck Falbo to work with. Comes around, looks to set up the buckle, fires the shot, and this one gets deflected high. Now off the boards to Creighton. Creighton looking to get this one away, but instead Cristiano comes in the way, and now Roberge will have to try to fight one-on-one. -on -one. And it is saved by Ivan Jr. Cristiano trying to fire this one towards Washburn, but instead just back towards the wrong direction. Larry Wood now has to clear this one out. It's bounced around and it's stopped by the net, and Wood will just simply pick this one up. A big, dangerous opportunity for the Gray Wolves, but Wood was very fortunate that the puck bounced on the outside of the net. Quickly stopped by McGraw and it's headed the other way. And that could have and that should have been an offside call. Creighton didn't quite come back. He was he was still over the line just a little bit before Buckholtz. Well not Buckholtz, but Mike McGraw moved the puck forward, but it looked like the referees let that call go. And now with 6-12 remaining, both teams now make a lineup change. Now 
now over to Mashlin taking the shot. Now fires it over, and it's Mark Creighton who ties the game at one. On the rebound effort, he popped that one over Larry Wood on his backside. And with 6 6 the Gray Wolves make it an even game again. Like I said, I, know, I knew the Gray Wolves had it in them to try to come back and just get that equalizing goal. It's real unfortunate that they left the first one in, but any unfortunate goal by the Gray Wolves, I'm just sure to try to tie the game up. Coming on back over to Garrick. Garrick now off the boards for McDermott, sets up the Tish, and he's got Mike Brewster to work with. And McDermott takes the shot, Brewster trying to reach it. Hogan Yee almost tripped him up. Puck now over to Tish. And now finds Hogan Yee. He's from back over to Quick though. Garrett gets a piece of it, gets it away from Creighton. And will feed it back over to Tish. He'll find, he'll find an open Mike McDermott on the right side. He'll fire the shot over to Ivan. Brewster looking to finish, missed on the rebound shot. McDermott looks to set up, but instead it's taken away by Pernice. He gets shoved to the ground by Tish. Puck over to Garrick looking to set up. He misfires, still with the puck. Very lucky there. Puck now over to Garrick. They'll have to regroup. Gets this one back over to Rock Hill. Rock Hill looking for Brewster, now stopped by Gray Wolves and they're on the move with Jim Pernice, but Tish knocks it back. Now over to Rock Hill. That finds an open McDermott are looking for Brewster. Instead, Hogan Yee will defend well. They'll get this one off the boards, now over to McCants. McCants fires the shot, gets over to the left side, now back over to the Salmers. The Salmers looks to set up to Nader, but instead gets knocked away by the Yellow Jackets. Roberge will regroup. Roberge on the move, and instead it gets knocked away by Buckholtz. Chaquan looking to skate around McGraw, but instead McGraw was able to just get the puck past Chaquan in the nick of time. And now comes Chaquan with the puck. And he's got some open room. Two Grey Wolf defenders back. Chaquan winds up for the shot, knocked away by Ivan. And this one comes back. And there is a goal there. I believe Randy Cristiano taps it in. And the Yellow Jackets take a 2-1 lead. But like we see there, Angelo, you know, uh, the Yellow Jackets, they find the mentality and, you know, when Oma Chikwan plays the playmaker role, you know, that's when the Yellow Jackets can be superb. Versus Chikwan having to do everything himself and that's when things can really break down because then it becomes one player versus a whole squad. And nine times out of ten, or 9.9 .9 times out of ten, that does not work out too well. Chaquan looking to get the pass off to Cristiano instead this one back over intended for foul ball. Now Buckles gets this one over looking for Washburn. The fire over to Chaquan. Now to Cristiano. Now back over to Nader. Nader's got some men to work with. And Chaquan holds up Nader well. This one now back over to Rock Hill. Rock Hill trying to find Tish, and then he said this one just knocked away, now going back the other way. And now Chiquan picks up on the loose putt. He will weave his way around, trying to get an open opportunity, now finds Rock Hill. And this one will get passed. And now we'll find Don DeSalmers, but instead gets a little bit past him now over to Dave Garrett. Garrett now off the boards, looking for Paul Rock Hill. Yellow Jackets looking in position right now. And instead, Rocker will go ahead and fire this one over to Garrick. Being held up by Quicko. Now to Rock Hill, will fire the shot, trying to tip it from Brewster. 
but no magic happens there for the Yellow Jackets. Now a rebound opportunity. Looks to set up now from Rock Hill. Rock Hill trying to find Tish. Looking for the setup, but instead now taken away by Creighton. We'll skate around, looking for the Grey Wolves to set up. Now finds an open Finley over the middle. Tom Finley now in a breakaway opportunity. Gets past Rock Hill. Makes the move and is denied by Larry Wood. How many times do we have to say it, Clive? It is hard to make a breakaway opportunity on Larry Wood unless if you pop the puck high for the finish. Oh yes, yeah, no doubt about that. I mean, Larry Wood, again, great playmaker. Knows what he's doing out there. I mean, for Tom Finley, you know, great eight opportunity breakaway there, but just could not finish. You know, he's another one of those players, you know, besides Jim Becker and stuff, great on breakaway opportunities, but just needs to find the right finish up, finishing touches, and they just could not find it there. And now another opportunity. He's got Chaquan to work with, 2 on 0. Makes the move, takes the shot, and the Yellow Jack is put in another goal. And you can see it, the new guy with two goals to his name with 125 in the first period, and the Yellow Jackets just might have found the winning piece at this point. So Yellow Jack is now with a comfortable 3-1 lead. And it will make things a little bit more interesting heading into next week's matchup if the scoreline continues to remain the way it is right now. Washburn misfires and now comes Creighton with the puck. He's got an open opportunity. He's got Pernice to work with. Will take the shot. Completely misses the net and Larry Wood. Coming over to Creighton now. Now taken away by Washburn. Buckle stops it. Now trying to get this one out. Getting it over to Chiquan. He does. Gets past Logan Yee. Another breakaway opportunity on the left side. Takes the shot. Hits the post. And the Yellow Jackets will need to regroup. So now set up to Cristiano. Now back over to Yee. Now back to Cristiano. Back to Yee. And now to Creighton with 28 seconds to go. He's a right to check one stick. Now looks to set up again to the new guy. Looking for his hat trick here. Takes a shot and he does get the hat trick. Look out over 50 hockey. I think we just got ourselves a new threat. 18.2 seconds to go. And the Yellow Jackets have a new man on their roster that everyone is going to need to point out. This guy is going to make things happen. And with that, 18.2 seconds left in the first period. And the Yellow Jackets are coming off. Firing on all cylinders. As Garrick now looks to get the pass off to Rock Hill. This one's going back. And that is how the first period will end here. One period in the books. 4-1 Yellow Jackets. And again, Clive, I don't think this is, this is the same Yellow Jacket team we saw in the first two games. Oh yeah, no doubt about it at all. You know, now with Jaquan, you got the other guy that... You got the new guy now, you know, that's a that's a big threat right there. I think they could start to compete and win a few games with that with that duo alone. But then again, you have the Red Army, the Green Hornets, they already have an entire team system heading up up right now, so the Yellow Jackets just might be able to compete. But as for the Grey Wolves, even with Ivan Jr., something's not right. I think they're still missing some kind of component, you know, for them to compete well, but there's not a lot you can say right now. So with that 4-1 Yellow Jackets heading into the second period. And will the Grey Wolves be able to turn things around in the second? We'll find out after the break. We'll go back here close to a little bit delayed start for the second period, but nevertheless, now it's over to Dave Garrick. They're gonna bounce around again. Now it's over to Rock Hill trying to get this. And it gets past Rock Hill. Here comes McCann's big time opportunity coming up. Finds a shot, hits the post. It's knocked away. And again, another opportunity for the Gray Wolves that they had to capitalize on and they could not. And now back over to Nader and the Gray Wolves need to get on the move here in order to get back in this game. 
Are now over to Nader looking to set up. Now around to McCants taking the shot. Misses the net. This one around Quicko. Fighting for it against McDermott. And instead this puck's going all the way back. Ivan will signal for the icing call he does. And with that, both teams now making a lineup change. Quite the game so far. From what looked like it could have been another uh, interesting matchup, it looks like the Yellow Jackets now have all the pieces in, in order to make a competitive run for the Stanley Keg this year. Will Burge looks to set up to Mashrin. And Mashrin cuts back over towards Will Burge. Randy Cristiano trying to skate and beat out Will Burge, just could not get there in time. Instead, it's intercepted or gets the pass off to of Finley. Cristiano gets a piece of it. Now over to Yi, Chick one stops him and it heads into the Yellow Jacket bench. Faceoff will now take place just outside the Grey Wolf zone. Tom Finley versus the new man. Will Burge trying to get the pass past Washburn, but now it's back over to Finley. Now in the Yellow Jacket end, Yellow Jacket struggling to get the puck out, but they finally give it off to Randy Cristiano and he's on the move. We'll find an open, Chaquan gets tight room and now is on a breakaway chance. Makes the deep move, and Chaquan finally puts his first goal on the season. And it is about time for this guy right here. Yeah, definitely, Oma Chaquan. It's finally good to see him put a goal on the board for the first time this season. You know, he's got to be happy about that a little bit, and he's hoping to put up more, but not a good thing for the Grey Wolves. Because again, Omer Chaquan, prior to this game, had no goals and no assists in the past two games, thanks to the way the Red Army and the Green Hornets were playing. But now with 10.09 to go in the second period, Shaquan finally breaks through and gets that first goal. And with that, that'll make things even worse for the Grey Wolves as they now trail 5-1. to one. Puck now over to McDermott, takes the shot, bounces off of Ivan. Now over to Finland. Finley gets it off the boards. Now over to Creighton looking to get outside of Dave Garrett. Finley looking to get this one out, but instead it bounces off of Brewster. Finley now back over towards. Gets over to Mashrin. And it deflects off of Garrick, and now it's Creighton chasing for the puck. Grey Wolves looking to set up here quickly. Now to Finley, and he is held up by Brewster. And Falbo will knock this one out. Jeff Quicko regroups for the Grey Wolves quickly. He'll take the shot. Bounce off of Garrick. Now back over to Finley looking for the setup. Looks to finish. Now back over towards McGraw. He fires the shot. And it is saved by Wood. Grey Wolves now make a lineup change. And it looks like the Yellow Jackets will do the same. Lots of hockey left to be played. Game's still not settled yet, technically. But if the Grey Wolves want to get back in this thing, they have to score three or four goals, primarily three, to make sure that they still have a fighting chance. But the tie there, four goals away. Big time difference. Now for Cristiano, this is to the new guy again. Sets up to Cristiano. Buckle slips in the process now over to Nader looking to finish. We'll skate around looking for a man to set up to Cristiano stops and now gets it over to the new guy again. Burst trying to go up against Buckle T wins on out as the puck is stopped by Washburn now back over to fourth Pernice. 
He'll take the shot. Knocked away. McCants now for the Grey Wolves looking to try to move the puck up. He will flip this one high. Kicked by Cristiano. And the Yellow Jackets once again on the move. Stopped and hit by Cristiano. Now back over to McCants. The Yellow Jackets, of course, regroup again. This one off the boards. Now to Chaquan. Chaquan looking to regroup quickly, and he coughs the puck up to Nader. But now that McCants trying to set this one up to Pernice. Yellow Jackets back now over to the Grey Wolves again. Bernice will go ahead and take a shot. Now it's back over towards Rock Hill. And now Quipper with the puck. Grey Wolves trying to put another goal on the board, trying to get some foundation going in this game. Rock Hill continuing to look to set up and we'll go ahead and clear this one out. And there's the icing call. We have seven flat remaining in this game, but so far, just a recap on what the game, game has been going on so far. Yellow Jackets with a 1-0 lead. It started out nearly two minutes into the game. Then the Grey Wolves tied it up, thanks to a shot made. And then since that tied goal, the Yellow Jackets just somehow came back with four unanswered goals with, with three of those goals being contributed from Omer Chikorn and the new guy. And the shot taken by Brewster, now saved by Ivan, who has just not had a really great day so far in terms of the defending and everything else considered. Well, yeah, definitely. Ivan's practically getting no help from his from his defenders, and that's ultimately what's costing him right now, giving up the five goals thus far in this game. It is not all on him because we know that Ivan Jr. is a whole lot better than this performance. So, for the Grey Wolves, they just need to stop the bleeding here and start to uh, make some damage on the Yellow Jackets. But now over to Finley, still with the puck despite a tip, despite a tip puck thing by Rock Hill. And now back over to Creighton. Creighton looks to set up. This one now back over to McDermott. Or correction, that's Mike Brewster. Now this is back over to Tish. He'll fire the shot. Ivan stops it. We'll get this one over to Quicko. As we are now halfway through the second period, Finley now is on the move. He gets past Cristiano. Passes it back towards Creighton. Creighton fires the shot just a little too high off of Wood. Puck stopped by Derek. Looking for Cristiano. Cristiano quickly skates to it. Stopped by Roberge. Now back over towards the Grey Wolves. Mashering with the puck. Bounce back towards McGraw. This one now to Roberge trying to set up to Creighton. He dies. Creighton making a move off of Garrett. Trying to make a move around Chiquan. Looks to set up. It's knocked away. And McCants takes the shot and it is saved by Wood. Jackets right now making a lineup change. Grey Wolves are ready to rumble here. Well, Burst trying to take the shot, instead it's knocked away. And now comes Dishonor's looking to try to finish here. Instead it's taken away by the Yellow Jackets. You trying to get to the puck first before Brewster, he does. Shot will be fired around. And now this one over to Roberge. Gets this one set up now to McCants. Here comes Tish. 
Tishnell gets the pass back over towards Brewster. Now this one over towards McDermott, now gets it back over to Washburn. This puck heading towards the yellow jacket end, and it looks like they're going to call the icing in, and yes they will. And with that, the yellow jackets make another lineup change. 3.56 to go, it is still 5-1, and it looks like the yellow jackets have calmed down a little bit. And calm down, um, they did indeed. I mean, 5-1 right now. You know, if they were continuing to play the way they were playing, the score could be 9-1. to And then Finney, of course, would, the commissioner would have to have a few words about that, thinking that they were trying to run up the score. But, of course, again, no one has ever reached 10 goals since the old pucks back in the earlier seasons. The max has been 9, and that's how these teams have kept it so far. Derek looking to finish, he takes the shot, bounces off of Ivan, now comes over to Finley. Stopped by the new guy, and Mashman will knock this one away. Creighton Howe with a big opportunity, only Rock Hill back. He fires the shot, Wood makes the easy save. So now, deep in the Yellow Jacket end, in their zone, Tom Finley will take the face off against the new guy. Meanwhile, Chikorn is on the left side looking to await the puck. Chikorn with the puck now passes from Rock Hill now over to Garrett. Lots of action going on. And another save made by Larry Wood. Mike McGraw just a little slow to get up after that collision, but he is all right, it looks like. He's able to skate this one off. So Finley wins the face off. I'm back over to Rock Hill. And this one just a little bit out of the reach. And there's the icing call now. The puck will be taking plays back on the other side once again. Stopped by Quicko. This one getting back towards Rock Hill. Deflected off of Creighton's skate. Now over to Finley. Back over to Mark Creighton. Jeff Quicko picks up on the slack and getting a piece of it's the new guy. And he's got Omer Chikorn to work with. It's a big time opportunity here. Yellow Jackets looking to set up. Nobody there. Here comes Rock Hill back. He takes the shot. Sets up now to foul, but Quicko gets a piece of it. Finley flips the puck high, and that'll give the Grey Wolves an opportunity to breathe, plus an icing call. So now Rick Nieder takes the face off against Tish. This one now back over to Washburn. Now to Will Burge. Bounces off him, now back over to Washburn. Fires the shot, deflected off of Ivan. What's the setup, and now it's taken away by Will Burge. He's on the move, but McDermott quickly comes behind him, trying to hold him up. Will Burge still with a little bit of momentum, trying to set up. Buckholz gets a piece of it, now it's back over to Tish the other direction. He's got Brewster to work with. We'll take the shot and Ivan Jr. makes the easy save. Oh. 
Nader versus Tish now in the faceoff deep in the yellow jacket, or correction, deep in the Grey Wolf zone. Brewster gets the pass back over to Buckles, now looking for Washburn. Off the board now towards McDermott, now over to Brewster. Brewster looking to set up. Pass to Saunders, Tish has to regroup. Through the legs. Now back over towards the Grey Wolves. Will Bergen now gets it to Paris, still fights Nader. Wide open, Nader takes the shot, bounces off of Wood. He looking to try to set up, now back over to Cristiano. Cristiano looks to set up, hits the post. Opportunity for the Yellow Jackets to improve on their lead, but he gets denied as we enter the final minute of the second period. New guy on the right side, Quickle looking to hold up. That's an obvious hooking call, but the referees let this one go. And here comes Nader on the other side, looking to try to stop, and he gets slipped up, and there you go. Rock Hill is gonna get nailed for this one, Clive. Yeah, definitely gonna be a yellow card on Rock Hill there, no doubt about that. Nader with a big time opportunity there, and he trips him up. That should be a penalty shot, I think. Yeah, definitely, but I don't think there's any doubt in my mind these referees are just going to let this one go to a face-off versus a penalty shot. So Rock Hill now in the hot box. And it looks like the referees are going to be having face-off here. I don't believe it. Yeah, that really definitely robs the Grey Wolves of an opportunity here. And especially since he collided right into the keeper too. I mean, that's really unfortunate for them. Puck stopped by Quicko. Winds up for the shot, quickly stopped by Wood, and there's a save. 22 seconds remain on the clock. Grey Wolves trying to find their momentum here. And now taking away is the new guy. Trying to skate through quickly, McGraw back. Will fire and flicker the shot towards Ivan, makes the save. And now 5.1 seconds remain. Minute 35 on Rock Hill's penalty. Albo versus Finley on the faceoff. And that will conclude the second period. 5-1 Yellow Jackets. At this point, Clive, do you think the Grey Wolves have any shot of coming back with four goals to go? Again, you know, Angelo, we just have to see on that one. because I'm, I'm not going to take any chances. I'm not going to say anything or make any predictions right now, but... I mean, with the game, with the way the flow of the game going, it appears that this game is just about over. The Yellow Jackets get their first win, but you never know what can go on. The Yellow Jackets could suddenly, you know, lose control, and then the Grey Wolves can come on a full goal comeback. You know, they got the capability to do that, but you know, ultimately, we'll just have to see. So, we got the third period coming up, and when we return, Yellow Jackets up 5-1 and 130 left on Rock Hill's penalty. Don't go away. Back here, folks, we're just about ready to begin the third period. Referee getting himself in position. Bill Tish versus Tom Finley to start off this third period. And 90 seconds remain on Rock Hill's penalty. This one gets past Hogan Yee. And Mc McDermott was going to get on Yee, but instead it's now Buckles taking the puck away. Now it's over to Masherin. Now we'll find Tom Finley. Finley gets the pass off to Creighton looking for more men. Finley looks to set up the finish, but instead Washburn will take it away. Ivan quickly jumps on the puck, now finds Yi, and instead Roberge will get to the puck. Yi Roberge on the move, trying to find a man intended for Masher, and instead intercepted by Buckholz, and now taken away by McDermott. Now it's back over to Yi again.
hug now to Washburn. Finds Tish, takes a shot, goes high. He, he knocks it away now over to Finley. Trying to find the Creighton across the middle, he does on the left side. He's got Masherin. Sets up to Masherin just out of his reach, and now it's over and knocked away by Tish. McGraw with the puck, but the Yellow Jackets now with a chance to regroup. Fires the pass back over towards Creighton out of Masherin, looking to take the shot. And this one gets cleared out the other way. This one out of McGraw. Rockhill finds Garrett. And the intercept is taken away by Rick Nader. Takes a shot, bounces off of Wood's glove, and he will still make the save. Back to official full strength here. New guy taking on Rick Nader in the faceoff. Puck back over to McGraw. Fires the shot. Hits the right post. Now back over to Rock Hill. Taken away by McGraw. Sets up to Desalners. Does a backhand shot. Completely misses the net. Now to McGraw again. Another rebound opportunity. Bounces high over the net. Now back over towards Desalners. Desalners trying to get the pass off to Quicko. And the Grey Wolves are now struggling to regain control. Now back over towards Desalners. Bouncing puck. Knocked away by Wood. And Rocket will go ahead and clear this puck out. Icing call. Face up again deep in the Yellow Jacket zone. Rock Hill looks to try to get this one out towards Falbo. He does. It's three on two. Falbo takes the shot. Ivan knocks it away. Falbo finds Shaquan. Back towards Rock Hill. Misfires the shot. Has to regroup, and the Gray Wolves are on the other way. And here comes a wide open Rick Nader. Takes the shot, bounces over Wood, and the Gray Wolves finally put another goal on the board. Rick Raider Nader does it again with 9.13 to go, and that will cut the Yellow Jacket lead to three. But like I said, Angelo, that's why I said I'm not going to make any predictions because you don't know if the Yellow Jackets will start to falter off a little bit and possibly get the four goal comeback. But right now it's one down, three more to go for them. And you're right about that, Clive. 9.13 to go. It is still possible for them to score three goals, but they're just going to have to tighten it up here and uh, continue to find those opportunities. now towards Masherin. And Yi will flip this one over, gives it right back towards the Yellow Jackets. Pass around, intercepted by Pernice. Masherin looking to set up the Finley, now over to Pernice. We'll pass this one back towards Roberge and he gets it right off of Brewster's stick. And now the Yellow Jackets are on the move the other way. There's the icing call signal by Ivan Jr. And with 8.30 to go, Yellow Jackets still maintain a comfortable 5-2 lead over this Grey Wolf team.
New guy trying to make the move around, trying to set up to Chaquan. Looking to finish here. And there's a goal for the Yellow Jackets. What else is new with 8.08 to go? And you knew eventually with the Grey Wolves try to stop scoring here, the Yellow Jackets were going to wake up and try to put a goal back on the board. So now that goal basically, so Mike McDermott or Mike McGraw's goal basically erased that time after a quick surge there by the Yellow Jackets. And now the game is back to three goals. Puck over to McGraw. Chaquan gets a piece of it. Now back over to Garrett. Now finds Chaquan on the right side. Looks to set up to the new guy. Wide open opportunity. Flips it high looking to try to hit top shelf. But just could not get the right angle to do so. Puck bouncing around. Here comes Cristiano. Now Chaquan taking the shot. Still bouncing around. Now back over towards Garrett. Gets this one off the boards. Now Chaquan looking to set up. Bounces through. Are you kidding me? So Omer Chaquan, not only does he score his first goal in this game, but that is an official hat trick for the 65-year-old. All right, no, I'm, oh, let's see, he was born in 1956. No, he's definitely over 60 for sure. We don't know, but the veteran of this over 50 hockey league just made it seven to three and pretty much just iced this game now with seven and a half minutes to go. Oh. McCants on the move, trying to set this one up to Nader. Deflected away by Rock Hill. The now putting it back in the yellow jacket end. Looking to set up now to Mc to McGraw, but instead the puck goes back. Bill Tish trying to get past Quicko. Trying to skate around him. He does, looking for a setup. Nobody there. And now here comes an icing call. Or oh, they wave off the icing call, and now comes Rock Hill. Everything completely quiet now at the ice sports floor. Not a lot of action. Will Burge passing it literally back right to Mike Brewster. Not the wisest choice. Nader now finds Creighton on the right side. Looking to set up back towards Nader. Deflects off of Garrett. Yi with the puck. Finds Creighton looking to set up to McCants. Will fire the shot. Bounces off of Wood. Brewster heavily covered by Yee. Yee finally knocks him off the puck, and here comes McCants and company the other way. Creighton looking to try to finish. Taps it high, knocked away. 5.45 remains. Creighton fires a shot. Wood knocks it away again. Not sure how many shots he's taken on Larry Wood today, but he's been remarkable in terms of the goalkeeper. Buck Colts gets it back towards the new guy. Creighton almost lost his jock strap there trying to stop the new guy, but he wasn't quite able to control the puck. Will Burge trying to clear this one out, but instead it's knocked away. Now here comes Chaquan. Takes the shot, misses to the right. Now remember, there's a record alert coming up. No. No player has ever scored more than the hat trick three goals. No other player has scored four goals. But for Omer Chacon right now, he still has five minutes to break the record or become the first one to score four goals. Puck now taken away by Quicko. This one now to Buck Holtz in his own end. Finds Chaquan. And it's stopped and intercepted by Quicko. Fires a shot, big time opportunity for Masher. And now it's over to Creighton. And Chaquan is on fire now. And open Mike McDermott. McGraw trying to skate back. 
trying to hustle back. McDermott still has some edge over him. Trying to make the move, takes a shot, and Mike McDermott finally has a goal of his own that he can count. So he's not going away with at least some kind of goodie. Yeah, again, Mike McDermott at least gets his share of the good hoods for the Yellow Jackets. And now it's really getting out of hand here. 4-10 to go, 8-3 Yellow Jackets. And I am just shocked right now in terms of the performance right now. I have never seen Tom Ivan Jr. You know, just wax off like this so much. Yeah, I don't think anybody has either. I think this has been a really bad game for him, not to mention, you know, some of the goals you could say that he should have stopped and then there's others where it just, there was no defense whatsoever and it's been breakaways. Creighton, now over to Mastrin. And now open Finley right here. We'll take the shot and Wood makes the glove save. And of course with this, all the Yellow Jackets need to do is score one more goal and with the six goal lead that they would have then, the clock, they would be on running clock, but since it's only a five goal differential, time is still stopped. Pass over to Hogan Yee, gets it passed over. Off of Mastrin, skate, here comes Mastrin in the yellow jacket zone. Lost control of it. Now regains control, trying to set up. But the new guy comes through and intercepts it. He's got Chuck Falbo to work with three dribbles now back. Looks to set up to Rock Hill, fires the shot, misfires to the left. Now over to Yee. And now we have three minutes remaining in the game. Garrick now to try to set up. Fits it high, right where they keep the peanut butter and jelly. But Dave Garrick with a beautiful assist there, and it looks as if Mike McDermott has had has another goal to his name. I just can't believe it at this point. I don't I don't believe what I'm seeing right now. I don't think this is happening. I think this is a dream to see, but. Ivan, Tom Ivan Jr. now giving up nine goals in this game. Unbelievable. And this is all over 50 men, senior adults. This is have to be really embarrassing. Chipwan now looking to make some history here. He's on the move. Passes it back towards Cristiano, knocked away. And now Nader on the move. Cristiano gets a piece of it, and now comes a new guy. Got some open room on the left side. Winds up for the shot. Kicked away by Ivan Jr. Looks to set up. Trying to tap for the finish is Cristiano, but could not get the right shot off. And there will be an icing call, but that's not going to stop the clock here. So as the time continues to roll down... And you know, Kalai, just looking at this game, I'm actually shocked because I don't think this was something we were expecting to see at all. Oh, definitely no. We thought this was going to been more of a tighter game. You know, both teams could have been competitive, yeah, both teams even, but with the way this game's been going so far, the Yellow Jackets have been the team dominating the Grey Wolves so far, and they're getting their first victory in style. 56 seconds remain in the game. McGraw now finds McCants. This one goes back towards Larry Wood. And this one goes back all the way towards Ivan. Garrick trying to get this one past quick though he does, but with the help of the Salmers, they'll fold it back in the yellow jacket end. Tom Buckles now with the puck. Now stopped by McGraw trying to take the shot, but it's deflected off of Larry Wood. Now it's Dave Garrett is in the puck. Trying to skip this one around Brewster. 
Now it's to McGraw. Now over to Tish. Stop by McGraw. They'll keep it in the yellow jacket end. And that is going to do it, folks. Final score. Yellow Jackets 9. Grey Wolves 3. Again, Clive, I am shocked at what I just saw in this game today. Oh, you're not the only one who's shocked. I mean, I can't believe the way this game was played out. We did not expect the Yellow Jackets to come out firing like this. They're playing as if they were the Red Army right now or the Green Hornets in this game. Just everyone gelling together and getting the right shots off. But now, if you're the other teams in the league, you know exactly what to watch for. You know, one of the key components of this Gears, the new guy over there. What a game from him. You know, he's got two goals, at least a couple of good assists. So, that's one player you'll definitely need to be watching out for in this league. And meanwhile, for the Grey Wolves, they're still going to have to find a way to climb a hill, and it's not going to get any easier as they take on the Red Army next week. So it's really going to be a bad start for them. But again, I cannot believe how many goals the Yellow Jackets were able to score today. It was just unbelievable performance. And of course, give a shout out to Omar Chaquan, getting his first goals in style in a form of a hat trick. And you can tell right there that he is back in business. This has been another production of PBN. And again, we thank you folks for tuning in on this Sunday doubleheader of Over 50 Hockey Edition. And before we go, we'd like to just point out the uh, current statistics after, round, after the first round of games. And we'll have that pop up here. Here we go. Red Army 3-0 after their 3-2 victory over the Green Hornets. And of course, now with this thrilling 9-3 victory for the Yellow Jackets, they now have sole control of third place. Grey Wolves now the only team that is winless that will still need to pick up on the pace here. But everything is basically even out, and next week's games are going to be very interesting. You'll have the 0-3 Grey Wolves taking on the 3-0 Red Army, while the Green Hornets, who are 2-1, will take on the Yellow Jackets, who are now believe that they have everything together and could tie the game up. They could win that game against the Green Hornets and then make it 2-2. So we'll just have to see what next week has to offer. But until then, I'm Nate, Philip Pontello, and for Clyde Kelsey, we say so long, good night, and we hope everyone has a blessed evening.